guys welcome to your daily love reading so let's find out how is this person uh feeling and thinking with regards to you your soulmate we're doing a general reading between you and your soulmate you could be in separation from this person aquarius you could be with this person but also going through struggles hence you're watching the readings i know that you will not be watching any readings if you are certain that things are fine so there could be some uncertainty in this connection so let's find out what is happening how are they feeling and thinking with regards to you and this connection aquarius how is this person thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius and this connection? Let's shuffle one last time and start with the reading. So I first want to know how are they feeling and thinking with regards to you? How are they feeling and thinking with regards to Aquarius, Holy Spirit? How are they feeling and thinking with regards to Aquarius at this point? How are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius at this point? And then we have justice. How are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius? This person could also just be wanting to come and bring justice to the situation. If, they, if you feel like you're cheated unfairly, this person is wanting to balance things out. They wanted to come and fix an issue that they might have had with you. Just bring justice to the situation. Bring a balance if things are out of balance. How are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius at this point? You could also be dealing with the Libra with that justice. How are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius at this point? Aquarius is person. And then we have the Ace of Swords. This person is wanting to communicate with you with this Ace of Swords, Aquarius. This person is wanting to tell you a lot of truths. There could be some, some, some realizations that they could, they could have came to a lot of realizations with this Ace of Swords. And they are wanting to communicate what they are finding out, Aquarius, with this Ace of Swords energy. This person could also know the truth about an issue they are wanting to share with you. I'm also picking up in a situation where someone was in the blind with regards to other things in the connection or maybe how they feel about you and now they know the truth they're wanting to share with you Aquarius someone is wanting to come and communicate with you heavy communication energy someone is really wanting to come towards you this person is wanting to come and talk to you with this ace of swords this person you could be no you, you could be in silence at this point you could be in separation and isolation from this person this person could have also ghosted you but they are wanting to come and communicate with you with this ace of swords energy aquarius i was i'm picking up a lot of energy of like someone that wants to come and communicate and also bring a lot of justice to the situation they had with you what is uh how are they thinking and feeling with regards to aquarius at this point And then we have the full energy. Someone wants a new beginning with this full energy. You could also be dealing with an Aries. This person is wanting to come and communicate that they want a new beginning with you, Aquarius. What are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius at this point? What are they thinking and feeling? Okay. What are they thinking and feeling with regards to Aquarius? And then we have the Ten of Wands. Something could be a burden, Aquarius. This person could also be feeling like something is a burden in this relationship with this Ten of Wands. They could also be just wanting to drop the burdens because tens are completion. So whatever it is that was happening, that was a burden, that was an issue in this uh, relationship, they're wanting to drop those burdens with this Ten of Wands energy, Aquarius. Whatever was like a challenge in this connection, they're wanting to drop those issues that they have. Okay, Aquarius. How are they seeing you at this point? How are they seeing you? How are they seeing Aquarius at this point? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How are they seeing you at this point? And we have the Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius. Someone could also see you as an opportunity, Aquarius. Be careful of people that are opportunistic, that are just only around you for your money. They could also be seeing that you are successful. Something could be working out for you financially with this Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius. You could be working on your money as well. There's this heavy, heavy energy of abundance. You could also be having a lot of new beginnings in terms of finances. This person could be seeing you in that energy. They also see you as someone that is rich, rich, Aquarius. Even if you're not rich, to them you are <laughs> they, just, they just see you in that energy of things working out for you they see you in that way even if you're feeling broke that's not how they see you this person thinks you are you have this big coin you have the biggest coin you have the biggest blessing how are they seeing Aquarius at this point 
And then we have the King of Pentacles, Aquarius. This person thinks you are rich, rich. I did say that with this King of Pentacles. They think you are very stable financially. <laughs> this person is such a clown, Aquarius. I don't know if this is the truth, but this is how they see you. They see you in this Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Like this person, when they see you, they just see dollar signs. They just see someone that is doing very well financially. They see you as, wow, as quite moneyed. Very stable energy. You could be financially stable in their eyes. Your life is in order in their eyes. Like everything is shining in your world when they look at you. But I like that they see you in this way. I would not want anyone to see you broke and suffering. It, you know, especially if somebody that hurt you and or they're in their past. I it's nice when they see you in this powerful energy where you're everything you don't want for anything. Your finances are looking good. They could also be there's a lot of pentacles you know this person is seeing you working on your money they're focusing too much on the material aquarius so they could be seeing you also working on your money working on your finances with this three of pentacles they could also be watching you work if you have a business online or you you work online this person is watching you focus on your work how are they seeing aquarius at this point and then we have the emperor this person is just focused on your success, Aquarius. I'm not saying that they only want you for your success. This could also be just be one thing they admire about you. They like that you, you can be a boss, you can take care of yourself. Because if you're in this king of pentacles, this emperor energy, this is not very heavy masculine energy, very protective energy. You can be a female in that masculine energy because I know Aquarius is a masculine sign. It's an S sign. That's why Aquarius females, they tend to be different from their other signs because they are ruled by A and A is a masculine energy. It's like fire. It's also like fire energy, like Leo Sagittarius and uh, Aries energy, and also Aquarius, Libra and Gemini, very masculine energies, Aquarius. So you could be in this masculine energy, in this emperor energy, very powerful. You could have a business, like I did say, if you have a business, someone is, someone is watching you work. This person is watching you work, Aquarius. Even if you don't have a business online, you you know you just have a way of you of you just have a way to make money. You are very successful, and this person is watching you make money. In their eyes, you are very successful. This is how they see you. They see you as an emperor. This person sees you as a boss, Aquarius. They see you as a boss. So you can be in a female as well watching this reading. The person that you're dealing with, they see you as a boss. You cannot be messed with. If they see you in this king of pentacles and this emperor energy, you are very powerful in their eyes. That's how they see you. Aquarius. Okay. What is the future energy? What are they planning to do in the future? What is the challenge in this connection for Aquarius and this person? We have the ten of swords. This person could have betrayed you. There could have been a very painful ending in this connection, Aquarius. With that ten of swords something ended very badly there was a painful ending there could also be someone from the past that this person is entertaining with a six of cups something someone from their past could also be a um, the challenge could be the reason why you're not together this person could be entertaining a past energy you could have felt betrayed with this ten of swords energy what is the challenge in this connection what is the challenge they could have went, went to go give a connection to someone from their past, Aquarius. Left you betrayed. Very broken. What is the challenge in this connection, Holy Spirit? What is the challenge? And then we have the King of Wands. Someone could also be lacking confidence with this King of Wands. Someone could just have a lack of confidence. They don't feel as confident. They don't feel attractive. They don't feel like they are wanted with this King of Wands being here in this challenging position. So, someone has a lack of confidence and someone is not able to see things from a different perspective with this hangman here. You could be dealing with someone that is very stubborn. It's like their way or the highway. That could be the challenge in this connection, Aquarius. Tell me more about this challenge for Aquarius and this person they're dealing with. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the messages, Aquarius. And we have the Five of Swords. Someone like, there could also be some arguments, Aquarius. Someone is also feeling very defeated. With this five of swords energy you could be dealing with a narcissist aquarius i'm also getting that this person could think you're very argumentative they could also be in this energy of feeling like you're you're very argumentative you're also a narcissist as well because i know no one is perfect aquarius so that could also be challenging you could have a tendency to argue a lot with this person aquarius this person could just be a narcissist they want to win at all costs you could be dealing with someone that is in this narcissistic energy someone that just wants to win but no one wins in the five of swords because 
especially if you you're in a relationship and you you're, you're, in the, you're doing the smoke because you said something smart and you feel like you hurt another person you're only hurting yourself so it's pointless so there could be arguments yeah with this five of swords and what is the challenge as well and then we have the page of cups energy here aquarius also a challenge with this page of cups energy aquarius someone could also be dealing with someone that is younger very emotionally immature this person could just be very emotionally immature with this page of cups energy okay aquarius let's try to get love messages from your person said for aquarius abandons keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss oh you're attracting a lot of abandons aquarius this is a very powerful reading for you aquarius you're showing up as the king of pentacles the emperor we see the ace of pentacles things are just working out for you financially and everyone is noticing it there's a lot of abandons in your energy you might not see it now you might not have that abandons right now aquarius but that is what is coming towards you so you must, wow, that is so powerful. There's something good coming for you. And then we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Someone is missing you genuinely, Aquarius. There's someone that really misses you. They're thinking about you. You're in separation from this person. You're separated from this person. And then we have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Aquarius, you could be healing yourself as well. Healing yourself from toxic situations. That's why you're in this abandons. You have done the work. You're very powerful. And then we have healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in, in, in love and, and in life. So you're making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So there's a lot of happy changes, Aquarius. Let me just get one last card. Let's cut for Aquarius. And then we have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. You could have been in this energy in the past. Someone could have stabbed you in the back. This person could have broken up with you, left you in that ten of swords energy with this stabbed in the back energy. The person that you're dealing with could also be in this energy right now at this point. They could be dealing with certain energies that put them in that position. Stabbed them in the back. Treated them unfairly. Let's get messages for you, Aquarius, from your person. What are the messages for Aquarius from this person? Happiness is my priority and I am manifesting you. We've been getting this I am manifesting you uh, message. And you see these cards, they are so many. This is one deck that has a lot of cards. But if these cards keep on coming out, like I'm manifesting you, this is the energy of your person. The person you're, that you're dealing with is seriously manifesting you. They're trying to, they think about you. They're doing stuff to bring you back in their energy. You might not see it, but they're doing stuff. They could also be spiritually, they could also be spiritual like you. Aquarius, tell me more. Will you choose me? They're also wondering if you're going to choose them. Time to ground yourself. Some stability, Aquarius. You could also be needing, needing some stability in your life. They could also be needing the stability in their lives. So just ground yourself. Wanting to, if there was someone that is floaty, you know, flighty, player energy, knight of swords, knight of wands energy. They are wanting to be stable, like the, like the knight of pentacles. <laughs> and then we have wait. They want you to wait for them. Wait. And then we have SPX. Someone could also be very, yeah, very, yeah. I am coming, trust. So this person is thinking about your body with this S-E-X energy that I see here. But this is YouTube. I'm not going to blatantly say it. But someone is thinking about your body here and they are coming. I am coming, trust. And we have, I'm too afraid to talk to you. So how are you coming if you're afraid to talk to Aquarius? Anyway, Aquarius, they say they need more time. But they are coming. I am coming, trust, but I'm too afraid to talk to you. I need more time. I am manifesting you. Would you choose me? S-E-X, my happiness is my priority. Wait. Time to ground myself. Time to ground yourself. Okay, Aquarius. We are uh, done with this part of the reading. What if there's someone new? Let's just find out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us more about Aquarius. What is happening in love for Aquarius in the future? 
one of the energies around Aquarius. And then we have the five of rings, which is the five of pentacles insecure. Aquarius, you could be feeling insecure, you could be feeling a lack, but this is the five of pentacles energy. Someone could also be left out in the cold. You know, in the future, someone could also be leaving you out in the cold. Be careful of such energies. I'm going to clarify because I feel the need to clarify it because this is very important since it's still coming. So I feel like we need to know what's going to happen. Tell me more. And then we have the seven of rings, the seven of pentacles. And then we have, uh, it's, here it says for the right reasons, Aquarius. You could also be meeting someone that has a child. A single parent with the seven of pentacles here energy as well i'm also picking up an energy of someone that wants to just work on this connection someone that you can count on someone very devoted to you very devoted and dedicated to you you see how happy this person is in this seven of rings energy and how they, they're just smiling very content i see someone that is very dependable coming towards you I'm also picking up an energy if like this is your past person Aquarius this person is feeling very much insecure they know that they want to come and work on things but they, there's a lot of insecurities and lag in their energy especially if they're putting you on a pedestal they see you as this emperor king of pentacles they see you in this powerful energy Aquarius yeah, they're feeling quite insecure about their money as well with that, in that five of pentacles because this is the five of rings is the five of pentacles and it's, it's like here it's like insecure this person could also be feeling quite insecure about money as well Oh, tell me more Holy Spirit for Aquarius and then we have opening up here someone could also be opening up as well in the future if you're dealing with someone that was closed off quiet as well this person is wanting to come and open up come and communicate they wanted to come and communicate and I'm also picking up an energy of growth they want to grow something with you you see how this uh, flower starts here small and it's just growing and it's growing so something that is something could also be starting out very small only to blossom in the future when there's more stability what is happening in for aquarius in the future and then we have the hopeless romantic the king of flutes which is the, the oh, sorry the knight of flutes which is the knight of cups you could also be getting an apology aquarius and then we have the knight of rings but this apology is coming in very slowly the Knight of Rings is the Knight of Pentacles. There's an apology in the future coming in, just coming in very slowly with this Knight of Rings energy. And here it even says the late bloomer. So the Knight of Rings is the late bloomer. He's quite slow. He takes his time. It's the Knight of Pentacles energy. And then we have the Knight of Flutes, the hopeless romantic. Someone is coming to romance you, take you on very romantic dates, getaways. Apologize. Oof. I'm also picking up some, you could also be meeting some new energies as well. And we, yes, I did say that you could be meeting up some new energies with this Ace of Rings, Ace of Pentacles. I'm picking up some new beginnings in love, Aquarius, and we have first date on this card. I'll try to take a picture and just put these cards here if you're not able to see them clearly so you can be able to see what they're saying. So we have this uh, first date, Ace of Rings energy. So you could be going on a date with a new person. Tell me more about Aquarius, what is happening for Aquarius in the future, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is happening for Aquarius in the near future. And then we have the Bachelor, so you could be meeting someone single, attractive, oh wow, Aquarius, very attractive energy that you're meeting in the near future, this Bachelor energy. Hmm. You could be going on a date with this Bachelor, Aquarius. And then we have Seven of Roses, the drama. <laughs> this is the Seven of Wands energy as well. And you saw with this mask, I see, also see like some two-faced, some people that are two-faced, the dramatic people, arguments also, and also some challenges. So be careful of this kind of energies, Aquarius. There could be some challenges in the future. So let's just clarify what is happening. <laughs> With this energy, Aquarius. What is that uh, insecure energy for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, and angels? The Five of Pentacles. What is that insecure energy for Aquarius? And then we have the Queen of Wands, Aquarius. I'm picking up an energy of a person. Like I did pick up that this person that you're dealing with could also be feeling very threatened. They're feeling like 
they feeling insecure about their finances because they they see you in this queen of wands energy this person thinks you're very attractive this past person that you're dealing with is very insecure the fact that they even putting you on that much of a pedestal where they see you as a king of pentacles emperor like very powerful energies they, they it's like this person is delusional unless you are that person that is very powerful like that and they see you in this queen of wands energy that's why it makes them very insecure you're very attractive aquarius i'm picking up a reading of someone that is very beautiful in this person's eyes you are very beautiful so it makes them feel very insecure to come towards you and then we have the three of pentacles here aquarius you could also be meeting someone while you're at work with the three of pentacles you could also be meeting someone when you are while you are working tell me more about this future energies for aquarius holy spirit holy angels and then we have this queen of pentacles when you pick it up it fell Someone could be opening up a career. Someone could also be wanting a stable relationship with you with that Queen of Pentacles energy day. We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about this story. What is coming for Aquarius in the future? I'm also seeing some stability, power, finances with this King and what King of Wands. We do this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I just see things just like you are, you are, you are very powerful, Aquarius. Let me just shuffle again. What is coming for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles, a big offer, a big sparkling offer coming for you, Aquarius. Ooh, very new, brand new beginning in finance, in stability as well. You could be getting a new job, Aquarius. You could be bossing up. There's something brand new coming for you. Someone could be offering you some money. You could also be getting a proposal or you could also be getting a brand new stable beginning of in love with this uh, Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of pentacle in your energy, Aquarius. I'm dealing with an Aquarius that is very, that is very blessed. I'm dealing with someone that is very blessed in this reading. There's a lot of blessings around your energy. You don't like anything. You don't want for anything. You have a, you have a very powerful energy. So even if you're feeling an energy of lag right now, it's only temporarily because your overall energy is power. I don't know one broke Aquarian. <laughs> so Aquarius, you might be broke now, but that is not your destiny. That's not where you are going. You are not supposed to be broke. Things are, will, are coming for you. Prosperity, power, opportunities are manifesting for you in the near future. And then we have this five of swords, Aquarius. Be careful of selfish people, people that are very aggressive, selfish. Someone could also be feeling anxious and they also have a fear of failure. And also someone that just wants to come and argue, cause an argument. There's some jealousy. You could be dealing with someone that is very jealous of you as well. And then we have the strength. You could be guided to hold back from certain energies as well, with the strength energy. I'm also picking up an energy of confidence and courage and resilience, inner power. You don't even know your own strength, Aquarius. You only know it when it's tested. Someone is going to test your patience, Aquarius, and they're going to see how powerful you are. You are very powerful, but you don't know how powerful you are unless someone starts to test, starts to test you. And this, that's how they will know that you are not someone to play with. When they start to test you and they come in this five of swords energy very sneaky with this uh, smirks and trying to play with you when you you decide to to bark on and roar on them like a lion <laughs> i feel sorry for this person aquarius be careful not to miss out on any opportunities with this four of cups energy here you, uh, and, and you could also be missing out on opportunity in love so please be careful of that don't let past failures and pain cause cause you cost you your happiness in the future don't let your focus close you to new ideas that's what's written here so there could be something new coming towards you so don't let your whatever you're focused on stop you from exploring those ideas because they might be something that might come with a lot of blessings Missing out, you might miss out on opportunities.
and then we have the five of pentacles and the nine of swords aquarius i'm also picking up an energy of some worry and anxiety coming with regards to money and stability aquarius so watch out for that someone could also be worried about finances with this nine of swords i don't i, I didn't want to do this kind of readings because i'm like Ish, that's the that's the problem with uh doing future orientated readings when it brings out this kind of energies however it also best prepares you because that's the thing about tarot you're able to change the future energy is always changing nothing is set in stone so that's what i like about tarot so be careful not to overindulge not to overspend save up for rainy days also pick up ways for you to make money so you don't end up in this nine of swords energy where you're stressed out about finances Pick up other ideas. Find take on take on a class if you need to take on a class. There's a lot of like online classes that you can also take on to better improve yourself, so you don't end up in an energy of like in this type of pentacles and stressed out about finances, Aquarius. So just to avoid, that's why we do this future readings, so you can also avoid things that are coming towards you as well. So for you to avoid those things. You can. Energy is always changing. That's why we do tarot every day. If stuff was set in stone, I will do a reading today and never have to do another reading because I will tell you what you need to hear today. But because we understand as tarot readers that energies are always changing, tomorrow things might be different. You might um, make decisions today that will influence you tomorrow. Prior to you watching this reading, you didn't know. You might have not known that things could go bad future so you could be very comfortable with what you're doing and still doing things the same way but after you get this kind of warning it makes you open your eyes you could be just, okay let me start up let me start up a savings account let me just start up let me just start up an online business let me just see what i can buy and sell online you know let me just see what I, how I can improve myself. Let me even see if I cannot even apply to go study, get another degree or get a master's or get a PhD. Let me improve myself financially. Let me improve myself in my education. And it's this small moments that change your whole future. Hence, we do tarot on a daily. And tomorrow when I come and I do this kind of reading, I get the queen of pentacles. I get the empress. And things have changed because you've decided to make changes to your energy, Aquarius. So that's why I like to do this uh, future readings. I want to incorporate them in all of my readings so we can be aware of this kind of information. So we can better prepare ourselves. I know that you're not able to alter everything and change everything. But if you're able to influence it a bit, please do it. You understand Aquarius if there's any information that can help you in terms of like your future take it this kind of warnings they are fine so you don't just sit and wait for you to get broke if you're not broke right now don't just sit and wait for that day when you're going to get broke make sure that it never happens even if it was not your reading just protect yourself from such energies Aquarius because it can happen to anyone you know so make sure that it never happens work on your finances set up a savings account just save up money on the side even if you already have another savings account save more money okay tell yourself that, oh let me add 10 more 10 percent more to my savings account this year because last year if i was saving 30 percent of my income let me say 40 this year let me let me try to minimize my lifestyle let me try to uh what is that let me just try to be frugal penny pinching let me be minimalistic with my spending as well so i can save more money so i can avoid this dark days so i don't have to be stressed out about money let me take out another course so I don't have to lose my job if I'm at work. So I can actually get a promotion. Let me get on, let me take one. Sorry, I meant to say, let me take on another course. Let me study, take get another degree as well. Improve my 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 capabilities, upgrade my finances, upgrade my education. Let me upgrade my education as well. So if I upgrade my education, I know that if I'm at work, I, I have still a chance of, of getting a, a promotion, improving myself as well. So I like that we are doing this kind of readings. We are aware of these negative energies, even though it's not they're here to scare you. I'm not here to scare you. I know you're not a punk. I can't scare you, Aquarius. You're very smart. You know how to work with your head. You're very logical. So this could be like a warning for you to start saving your money or also improving yourself or starting up a business or doing something on the side that will further enhance your finances and your stability in the future so you're never in this five of pentacles energy or this nine of swords where you're stressed out about finances aquarius yes and we have the wheel of fortune things are changing we have the wheel of fortune things change all the time so aquarius subscribe to my other channel i am going to be talking about spirituality a lot and stuff that you can do spiritually to better to better enhance your life aquarius so do check out my other channel
I'm going to leave the link on the description box here. So we have this Wheel of Fortune energy here, things changing. There is, things are going to change. I hope they're changing for the better, Aquarius. Um, let's get some Monology deck. Let's get the Monology deck for you. I might post another reading that is like, you know, just the way I do my readings. It's just that I want to add everything in this channel in terms of readings because I don't want to just cater to love readings. That's not the reason why I started Tarot. I started Tarot to read different energies, not just love readings. So, yep, I am going to post a love dedicated reading. Let's claim it, you know, the way I do my readings. I just wanted to add something different. So, for to cater to everyone that likes tarot, not just people that are in love. And then we have emotions are running high, super moon. Ooh, and there's a full moon coming, full moon in Leo. It's uh, on the 25th of January. Uh, yeah, right now, Aquarius, on Thursday. It's actually my birthday on Thursday, Aquarius. I'm a January Aquarian. I just didn't want to share. I was like, ah, when I'm doing my readings, I don't want my, my, my subscribers to know that I'm Aquarius because I don't want them to feel like my readings are biased based on my experiences. It's like, you know, because I am an Aquarian, but I'm like, oh, I just didn't want to share that side of me. However, it's my birthday on the 25th and it's going to be a full moon on that day. On the 25th of January on Thursday. Emotions are running high. And you know towards the full moon, people get very emotional. And then we have uh, a new start is coming. So there's something new is coming. A new start is coming and emotions are running high. Super moon and something new. A new start is coming. And don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Didn't I just say that? We have a full moon in Leo coming on my birthday. That is awesome, Aquarius. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Full moon in Leo. Hey, I like that it's here. And we have a full moon coming in in Leo. You are very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous moon. Powerful energies for you, Aquarius. My fellow Aquarian. Happy birthday. We are in Aquarius season now. The most important season. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is not going to be a long, long reading. I'm going to end it here and yeah, check out the love reading that I'm going to do next where we'll get messages from your person and all that information that you want to hear, Aquarius. I'm also just going to be doing personal readings because I'm like, ugh, not everyone just wants to hear about love, love, love every day. People want to enhance themselves and that's the reason why I do tarot. It's not only about to know about who hurt you and what you don't want to say and all that nonsense. Let's find out more things about you and what you can do to improve your life. Thank you so much Aquarius. Bye.